Hey, this is Mick West at Medibunk.org. So off the coast of uh, Santa Barbara, there's a bunch of oil rigs. And there's a few in particular that are really interesting from a uh, flat earth investigation perspective. There's this uh, line of oil rigs right here. One, two, three, four, four oil rigs in a row. And behind those four oil rigs, there's another one here called Platform Habitat. These are called Platform Hill House and Platforms A, B, and Platform C. So if you stand on the coast over here and you look uh, just at the right angle from the right position, you will see one oil rig uh, or platform with another one directly behind it. And from over here, you see the same thing with just a different oil uh, platform, but a similar type of thing. This one's very, very far away. These are a bit closer. So this one, you'll obviously see, you'll see more of it. And this is in fact what you, what you see on a clear day. Here's an example from a video and you can see this distant oil rig, which is platform habitat which is uh, this one over here, the one in the distance, is beyond the horizon and it's sunk down. And this one is a bit closer, so it's pretty much all above the horizon. It's still a little bit behind the horizon, I think. But on some days, you get this same view, this exact same view, but uh, you see a very different picture. You see the distant oil rig is actually kind of raised up. You actually see more of it. And... Uh, I believe you can actually see a little bit more of this one as well. Yeah, you can see this little platform here is uh, is higher up on this one than it is on this one. And how can this be? Well, yeah, obviously the answer is uh, it's refraction. The refraction is raising up uh, this image of this this distant oil rig. And when there's less refraction, as you can see, because the lines are straight here, there's no wobbly lines and whatnot, and it's not stretched. Uh, you you get more of the what you'd expect the 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 oil rig behind the horizon hidden by the horizon by the curve of the earth. But people who believe the earth is flat, they think that well, if refraction can make something be uh, r rising up from behind the horizon, why can't refraction also hide something? Why can't the apparent curve of the earth be uh, be an illusion? created by refraction. So if the Earth was flat, perhaps refraction is making the Earth look round. Of course, that isn't true, but you know, how do you answer this, this, this question? So uh, what I did was I added this setup, this setup here, and the uh, another one from a different viewpoint, this one here, which is similar kind of issues, this, this one here, this distant oil rig should be uh, uh, below the horizon. And I put them into my refraction simulator. Now, the refraction simulator is something that I wrote uh, for like, I don't know, about a year ago or so. And what it does is it's a bunch of code and it's got these ray tracing functions and it traces the light through the air and you have a temperature profile and you can tell you know, how, well, what the refractive index is at various points in the air based on the, the temperature and the pressure and the humidity. And uh, let's see here it is. So by default, it's going to open up the clear day uh, version of this viewpoint. So we've got this close to the platform when this one further away, and you can see we have the, uh, the same thing going on right here. And as I say, pretty much the same. You can see it's more or less the same image. Uh, if you, if I've changed the default, you can actually find this down here in these presets and there's a bunch and they all start with platform, platform C, platform, hill house and habitat, oil rigs, clear day is this default and curvy is the other one. But let's stay with this one here, clear day. Now, this is showing what, uh, more or less what things would look like in uh, what's called standard refraction conditions, which is just basically when the atmosphere isn't doing anything special, the, there's no real particularly interesting temperature gradient. It just gets smoothly cooler as you get, get higher and the water is a very similar temperature to the air, uh, which doesn't actually happen that often over the ocean because the ocean is usually quite a different temperature to the air. But in this instance, uh, the water is about the same temperature as the air. Now, this here, uh, this little graph here is showing the vertical temperature gradient. Along the bottom, we've got the uh, temperature in Celsius. And on the left, we have the height in feet, which is a bit odd, I know. We have feet in Celsius, but you know, what the heck. And what you can do here is you can actually drag these little controls here and you can move this curve around. And you can see it doesn't really take very, very much at all to have some quite dramatic effects. Uh, with this, the curve pretty much straight like that, that's you know standard refraction, but slightly less than standard. You know, a little bit warmer water and cooler air. 
you can get some quite dramatic effects like this. But you know, standard refraction, which you can also get to by just clicking on this little button here, shows pretty much what we see in this image. So how do we get what we see in the other images? Well, this one here, it's got this kind of wobbly line here. And yeah, you know, these, these wobbly lines, you can, you can duplicate reasonably easily, but they're a little fiddly to do. So I, I made a preset which has it, and it's the Platform Hill House and Habitat Oil Rigs Curvy preset, and there it is. It is the pretty much the same image as that one. Not quite the same graphics, but it is more or less the same. And you can see this is the temperature profile. It's uh, getting warmer as you uh, get higher up, and then there's this dramatic warming here, and then it gets more or less back to normal after that. This is uh, a bit of a uh, unusual situation. Uh, of course, it it normally gets colder as you get higher up, so this is what's called a temperature inversion. Uh, so I managed to duplicate that, and you can play around with this, and you can see. Is again small variations in the temperatures can have quite dramatic effects and this is something you will see if you look at time lapses of uh, this type of situation you will see uh, over the course of just a few minutes the there's these quite dramatic uh, variations in the the refraction you you don't normally get these like this one look uh, but I think it's the key point here is that we can actually see the bottom of this oil rig and really this oil rig should be beyond the horizon if all things are being equal. If we turn off refraction, if I go over here and just make it so that uh, lines are just straight, then this is what you would actually expect to see from a viewer height of uh, 1.1 feet. That's very low down, very nearly close to the, to the water. And just to get into a little bit more about what's going on here, this view over here is uh, essentially a side view, but it's highly, highly compressed and it's showing you all the lines of sight. So when you see a yellow line in the image down below, uh, the yellow line up here corresponds to the, the line of sight. Now this is set up without refraction, so all these lines of, straight, lines of sight are perfectly straight. Now if we turn refraction on, you can see the difference is that the lines become bent, and they actually become very bent in, uh, in some situations, like, like over here, which is why we're getting these, these weird, weird curves over here, because there's so much bending of the light. I can turn off this gradient here so you can see a little bit better what's going on. All this stuff is squished together here, which stretches it out when it comes over here. So, you know, we've kind of successfully duplicated uh, this situation in, uh, in my refraction simulator, and it's, you know, not too complicated a curve, and it's not entirely unexpected that you get these uh, temperature inversions. What about the other picture? Let's see, we've got this one over here. Um, this is, uh, I think, platform A, and I can go over to the presets and I can go to sorry, platform C, platform C and habitat oil rig. This is uh, duplicating that. And it's actually a lot simpler than the other one, actually. It's actually a very normal situation. There's no real temperature uh, inversion of, uh, well, there is, but not a, like a, a discontinuity in the way that you get with the other one. All we have here, we have the, the water down here is uh, colder than the... Uh, the air above it, so it cools down the air directly above it, which has the effect of uh, curving things down. And you can see, you can see the curves here. It's just going to be fairly gentle, actually. It's just kind of curving it down. There's no mirages or inversions, or not not very much stretching or anything like that, because it's a fairly smooth uh, curve. And you can, you can move this around again and make it even smoother. And you can see, you know, we still get similar effects. Uh, with the light curving down, or we can we can move it a bit more to bend the light down even more. It's really the gradient at the bottom that has the greatest effect, like here. You can see I've made it smoothly bend the light all the way around uh, the curve for this part of the globe. And uh, we can see this oil rig, and this is something that happens, and it's not, not particularly not particularly large amount of temperature variation. It's only, what is this, like less than one degree, I think, less than one degree of uh, cooler water and it can be quite a lot quite a lot more which gives you this big big stretches and if it's more dramatic very cool at the bottom bottom you'll get these uh, this compression at the bottom and then you can maybe it's a bit less steeper and you'll have this stretching 
because if you have warm water, like you know, all bets are off, and you get these these weird um, inversions and mirroring and things like that. But yeah, you know, we don't have that here. We've got this just this fairly ordinary, normal, slightly more visible platform than you would expect to see. So the question is, uh, if we can do this on uh, a globe earth model can we do the same thing with uh, the opposite refraction on a flat earth model can we make a flat earth look round uh, let's start out by turning off refraction and then turn on the flat earth model and you can see everything's flattened out here this is what you see from eight feet high on the uh, flat earth model with no refraction now because the ground is flat Obviously, you can see you can see all the way to the uh, infinitely far away horizon, and so you can see the entirety of both oil platforms. But what we want to do is see how do we get a situation that explains explains when the Earth actually looks like it's round, which it actually is. But from a flat Earth perspective, they think it's flat and it's just pretending to be round. So, could we actually simulate this, starting with the flat Earth and then adding refraction? Well, let's give it a go. So this one here wants to be kind of cut in half, and this one here wants to be more or less you know, all the way there. And we actually want to be on the other one, which would be the clear day, platform hill house. No refraction, but a flat earth. All right, so we're starting with a flat earth. What do we have to do to make it disappear behind the horizon? Well, what we actually have to do is make the water a lot warmer than the air and we have to make the air um, decrease whoop, there we go decrease in temperature very rapidly okay about there so we can kind of uh, simulate it we can actually kind of simulate a flat earth uh, we can simulate a flat earth looking like a round earth with refraction and you can see that image here kind of looks like uh, what we got here except of course for the fact that we can see the ocean behind uh, these these oil rigs which is uh, not what you actually see here you actually see a horizon cutting this off so what's going on there so we can do it to a limited extent uh, but the problem here is that it requires you to have this ridiculous uh, temperature gradient uh, cooling down which decreases in temperature by let's see about one degree every 20 feet that's just 20 feet above the water it's cooling down by one degree and we know this this doesn't happen because you can walk up a hill for example as 100 feet high and it's pretty much the same temperature as it was 100 feet lower down it doesn't decrease uh, by what is this five degrees in 100 feet and you know, obviously it doesn't do that in uh, in the ocean I'm sure the guys on this 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 oil rig is about 100 feet high and the temperature at the top of this oil rig is not uh, five degrees colder than the temperature at the bottom of this oil rig so even though we can kind of simulate this except for the horizon being behind everything we can't actually do it because it would require an impossible uh, negative temperature gradient whereas uh, our setups uh, uh, with the, uh, the the refraction don't require a particularly bad one especially the ones that uh, are just like this this one here just a very very normal situation you might ask uh, why can't we actually have this temperature gradient decreasing it's not just simply that it doesn't happen it's that if air is colder it's going to be a lot more dense and so it's going to sink so if you've got air 100 feet above you that's five degrees colder than the air uh, at the bottom that air is going to be necessarily going to be a lot more dense essentially it's the same thing as having the air at the bottom being five degrees hotter than the air above it you've got some very hot air this is equivalent essentially of a hot air balloon so you wouldn't have a stable environment and something that characterizes uh, the situations like this when you do have this very very clear globe horizon is that they are very very stable yeah <laughs> and not only would it be literally impossible for you to have uh, a negative temperature gradient like this it would the air would just be basically boiling because it would be uh, you know essentially the bottom would be like a hot air balloon constantly rising up it would be 
literally impossible and it would just look like a chaoticness. So AI, yeah, the problem with all of this is that it's kind of complicated and it's difficult for people to understand what's going on. And uh, what I'd like, what I'd suggest people do is have a look at this refraction simulator and see what it actually takes to do certain uh, situations. You know, what, what actually happens with uh, things like, you know, water that is one degree colder uh, than the air is 14 to 15 here degrees, degrees Celsius, or even less than that, it could be one degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, and what, just like small variations, like moving these control points around, let's see how much effect they have. And then look, look at other things as well, like what is the, uh, where's the expected horizon, like the geometric horizon on the earth is actually going to be down here. If you look at a straight line down here, it would actually be lower. So you can see the horizon has been uh, risen up as well as uh, as these oil rigs. So you can play around with that. So go to metabung.org slash refraction. You can check out these different uh, platform uh, presets. There's also a whole bunch of other uh, different presets you can do for different situations. You can play around with those and you can try to see if you can make the uh, flat earth look round uh, with refraction if you want. And um, and what I'd really encourage people to do is to uh, don't rely on things that are so close to the horizon. These these oil rigs, they're only like, a, you know, 100 feet high or so. And because they're so close to the horizon, you get all these weird effects. But just, you know, like a few hundred feet above it, like up here, you're not getting these effects. You'd be far better off using something that's a lot bigger than an oil rig. And don't be so close to the ocean, get a bit higher so you can actually you know, rise above these these effects of re refraction and you can see more clearly what's going on. Have a look at, uh, for example, the uh, a distant island like Catalina Island is, is ideal. You can see here's Catalina Island and there should actually be some of the island in the middle there, but because we are uh, on a curved earth, we can't, we can't see it. If I change it to be a flat earth, you would be able to see all of this and you would be able to see the ocean behind it. But you can't. All you can see is whoop, that. And that's with refraction, but it's pretty much standard refraction. Just uh, if we go to actual standard refraction, is that. If there's no refraction, it would be that. It's just, you know, like you can only just see it, but you can still see it. But if it's flat earth, you would see that. And what we actually see is this. And refraction doesn't really affect very much. Uh, down low, so it actually uh, works out very well for, for testing purposes. You can do this and you can see the stuff around the horizon moves, but the tops of the mountains stay more or less in the same place and the bottom half of the mountains are still hidden. So it's much better the, to use things like islands and mountains especially uh, than it is to use buildings and uh, oil rigs, which are only a few hundred feet high. So give that a go. All right, any questions, uh, drop me a line, mick at mickwest.com, uh, at mickwest on Twitter, or just leave a comment below.